love my skin like this. How, what am I doing wrong that mine isn't like that? Well, the important thing with foundation is what you moisturise it with. And the thing with moisturiser is it will change the fi finish of a foundation. Mm -hmm. So if it's too emollient, what it would do is means you over you have to over maintain the foundation with powder to take out some of the sheen. So what the one that I use today? So whatever you use today it goes with uh, Tom Couture Everwear Foundation Perfect. perfectly. It means you don't have to add powder. So what you've got now is just the reflection of light with moisture and foundation. There's no powder on the face. I was just putting up my Insta stories. Look. Wow. How comes mine don't? I use the same products, but it doesn't go on as well. So I'm going to try and practice the techniques that he showed me. And the main tip that I hopefully Paris filmed it is that you have to be careful what moisturizer you use under the foundation. So I'm using. Um, a Clinique one, and it was the first time I'd, I'd used it today, and actually hardly any product, and the brow, it was just eyeshadow, and it was actually minimal product, um, and the right tones and textures for your skin. So anyway, this was just delivered, and actually I can show you the foundation that we used, because this is a perfect balance of feeling lightweight, but also enough coverage. So it's called Couture Everywhere. And this is a great color for me every day. This is number P200. So the old one that I used to wear has the black lid. Um, but today we use 215 because I have a bit of fake tan on and I have more of like a summery all over glow. So we went up a shade. So that's what it looked like. It looks like. What else have we got in here? Well, we have all of the concealers. So it's good to have a few colour of the concealers because then you could put the light, the lightest tone. This packaging is really nice. The lighter tone under your eye and then the darker tones to cover up any blemishes. Oh, I've got a new foundation brush. Oh, look at this. It's a Givenchy one. This, he was using this actually, so that's probably another reason why it went on really well. Oh wow, look at that. It's matte black. So I'd probably advise getting this if you're going to get the foundation. Concealer, concealer. Oh, this is the new Into D. So I did a giveaway of this um, on my YouTube channel recently, or no, on my Instagram. So this is the new improved. How do you say it? Le Into D, I can say it now. It means forbidden in English. Um, this is more of a, um, very similar to the original one, but slightly more sweet. So that will be all the details, all this, everything I need to know. Hola. This is for display only, okay? Do not use this. Bambi would love that. Oh, how chic. Oh my gosh, I love that. Look at that. Show us. This is amazing. So this is like flat pack that you can put in your bag or when you're traveling. So for example, I'm doing my makeup by the window. I did it with a handheld mirror. I did it in one of my compacts. So now I can use this. 
I'll find out if you can buy these. Probably not. But that's really handy, isn't it? So I'm glad I've got to show you the foundation and the concealer because for me, good makeup is all in the skin. That's how it, um, I thought you looked really interested then what I was talking about. It's all in the skin and as long as you've got nice skin, the rest will follow. Oh my God, it's a heart. I've just realised that I just worked it out, it's a heart. Um, so this is the bed. Yeah. My favourite part is behind. This is a real life room tour because it's a mess. Um, this is the seating area. And it goes out into the balcony. So lovely, peaceful. A little terrace gate for the pool. Look at that view. Let's talk about my shoe collection. <laughs> so I've got these ones back here. Usually I don't bring so many shoes, so I'm not sure what happened. So I have, I always bring a pair of boots like this away with me because I, when we walk around, I love wearing these kind of boots with dresses. Those are my new Zimmermans. I always recommend just a pair of black strappy. Normally I bring nude strappy and that's it. And then they go with everything. I don't normally bring a, like a red bright shoe like that, but I've actually for once organised about an outfit. For those shoes to be worn, I'm going to wear that for dinner tonight. So you'll see me wear the red ones later. The new Chanel ones and the pearl ones and my Maisel. Basically all my mules, I love them because they're so easy to wear and I can walk around. I've got my new Hangy C flats and then my trainers that I travelled in and I always think I'm gonna go to the gym but I never do. So this is where I keep all my bags. And um, normally I don't bring as many as these and I took these all in my hand luggage. So I have normally I would actually just bring like a, a dark and a neutral and I always make sure I have ones where they fit my vlogging camera. Um, and then but because I've got I actually organised for the first time ever I have a baby blue dress and I want to wear this, a baby blue bag, and I'll probably wear my Zimmerman boots. This is a really good day bag, so that if I want to go to the beach or the pool where it's more practical. And then I needed one cream one, because it goes with everything. I have all my jewellery here. If you've watched one of my latest hauls, you'll see my new Manolo belt. So I've just bought two belts to wear with dresses. I have a bag of jewellery here. I only ever bring costume jewellery. So I've got some belts. All of my Alessandra Rich earrings. Some hair clips. I basically just bring simple dresses and, it, and style it with my jewellery. This is the bathroom. Just checking out my natural flawless makeup. So I love this marble, it's like a green and pink marble, which makes a nice change. Then it's also got this rustic Italian vibe. And then we have a wardrobe. So last night when we arrived, I, I hanged all the dresses that, like I steamed this before I came and I rolled it, but it's still got a crease. So I've hanged this up and this is what I'm going to wear with my Zimmerman boots and my baby blue bag. Um, I hanged all, all my dresses, all my jackets. It's a bit chilly at the moment. So I wore my leather jacket and then I packed a black blazer and a cream blazer and I made sure that all the dresses that I packed go with these. Um, we're going on a boat tomorrow. I have a really nice dress for that. And it actually matches the hotel. Okay, let me show you. Sneak peek. You've probably seen it in my haul, but I had no idea the hotel's theme was this striped. Well, Paris is close. Did you hang that? Sorry? Did you hang that? Yes. Oh, yeah. I have a matching build outfit for tomorrow. Oh, should I show? I bought even an outfit at the airport. So basically, I, um, I panic shop. I was just nervous. And I bought him a really fabulous outfit. We were going on a boat and I found out last minute, but these are just so great for holiday. So I bought these for him at the airport uh, from Reese, And they're like, tapered at the bottom. And the cutest top, how nice is that? I'm going to look like a giant baby. I love it. It's like a baby girl. Everyone's going to see that you're XL now. 
I've upgraded in life. I think actually, when you see people on TV and YouTube, you forget how small everyone is. Like sometimes I meet all the YouTubers and I'm like, oh, they're so petite. And some of the husbands are quite short, aren't they? Small. Yeah, small. Not even short, just small and like. Some of them are quite ripped, and then and then you meet Paris, and he and looks I'm like, like a giant. he looks like everybody's like, dad. I'm, I'm gonna eat you. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Are you stuck, Claire? Yeah? <laughs> it's just a wooden fence, so it shouldn't be that hard. We are ready for dinner. Um, in a bit of a rush because well, we're not late, I just don't want to be late. So this is my outfit. I'm going to show you in the mirror, in the bathroom. So I am wearing, Neil touched up my makeup and he did, um, add, they added some eyeliner, but it literally stayed on all day, even though I was in the sun, I was literally like that. Um, got my Alexander Rich earrings. I didn't wear the, the seahorse ones, although I do have them in my bag. So this is a tip. So this is quite simple because I've got my Manolo Blahnik belt on and I've got my red Manolos, which you've seen, but I might take the jacket off. I've got the most gorgeous black dress on, which I'll show you later. It's on my Instagram. I did a video how to style a black dress 10 ways and I might put the seahorse earrings on and change the outfit up as we're out so that is my look quite simple because it's all black but not really but it's really comfortable we're going to a restaurant um so we're going to go meet everybody in reception now just left the group, we left the Givenchy group, we had a beautiful boat trip, uh, finally got a nice picture of Paris and I, you know how I feel about Givenchy trips, they're always just so spectacular, I feel really honoured to always be on their trips, so happy with the foundation, I don't know if you can notice but I don't have it on today and I myself wanted to check on the camera when I edit the difference, already with stills I can notice the difference, it doesn't look nowhere near as good. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad foundation, it just seems to be really good. The Givenchy ones just seems to be really good in the light and good for photos. So we are now going to our own hotel. This obviously has been a press trip and we are now just having two, three days on our own. We've paid for our hotel and everything because we want to just relax. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do, but we'll keep carry on vlogging. I'm still going to carry on vlogging and taking pictures because it's such a beautiful island. But that is the update of where we're at. They my troubles to rest. Oh, smoke through my cigarette. City that's looking fine. And I know this is my time now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell everyone what we're doing. What are we doing? 
do. So the weather was really great for two days. I've got no lipstick on, is that yeah. um, Then it went a bit rainy and windy, which we don't mind because it was relaxing. Um, I treated myself to like one shell bowl. No, you bought like five bags. I don't even know how you get back to the UK. So five bags of not... shell balls, lemon balls, <laughs> seahorse balls, starfish balls. <laughs> uh, but there's one that's actually really, really amazing. I'm going to show you everything when we get back home, but I'll pop a picture here. And I was making my order. I came back and um, there was one other person making an order. And it was Valentino. He was in my way. And there was like obviously the assistant doing everything when I was there and then he came to pick everything up and he was standing in the doorway and I was like, oh my god, Valentino. And I was, I was thinking about this one shell thing to buy and I was thinking, oh, I bought too much and then he picked it up and bought it. So I was like, fine, I'm going to get it as well. <laughs> and then he went to go out of the shop. It's very small. And Paris is just standing there and I was thinking, move, you have to move, it's Valentino, you have to move. And Paris was looking like, what, you move? And I was like, oh no. Hello everyone. I've been quite bad at vlogging the last few days because as you know, it has been, just checking the light, it's been um, like a few days that we wanted to, one second, it's a big smear. We decided to stay on for a couple of days and the weather was, I would say, quite bad. It was very windy, chilly, raining and as I said before, we really didn't mind because we just relaxed and we wanted to walk around. I sit down, it's really obvious that I'm filming. We wanted to walk around and explore the town and when it's a bit chilly, that's actually quite a nice way to do it. And then on the last day we had some sun and we walked around, went to see the cathedral, we sat by the pool um, for a couple of hours, but it wasn't like sunbathing weather, but it was really nice. So that's what we've been doing. I automatically thought that it was going to be sunny, but you can never be too sure about the weather. So just a, a packing tip, I bought these um, these Zara leggings with me and I travelled in them thinking, oh, if I need a pair of uh, light trousers if it's chilly I'll wear them and I've actually worn them a lot I wore them today with a white open shirt and um, my Gucci Prince town I wore them for dinner with a really dressy top so um, I would always recommend packing something like this in case it gets chilly and then I threw in my wall blazer which I put a picture here and I wore my leather jacket in the plane and then also packed a black blazer so I literally put pair of jeans, leggings, nude blazer and a black blazer and they've been lifesavers because it's been so chilly. Lots of pictures on my Instagram. I wonder if I can, sorry my arm was aching. I um, I had my hair done at Kennedy's salon where I always go before and can you believe I actually haven't washed my hair since I've been here. They do such a good job. Their blow dryers, I hope it's not naked in the back. Their blow dryers literally last me like four days. So I'm going to show you this view. The hotel has been absolutely, just honestly, a dream. Look at this balcony. Hopefully I did do a little room tour when I came in. Um, it's like baby blue flooring in here, turquoise here, pink walls. The whole hotel is pink. That's the lemon restaurant. And then this is a mandarin and lemon Oops, outdoor restaurant. It's absolutely beautiful. And I would actually say that this is nicer than the famous lemon restaurant because it's outdoors and when i asked so many of you on instagram where should we stay not one i must have had about 200 recommendations thank you but this hotel wasn't in one of them a lot of them were they're really expensive or really you know like two star it's such a beautiful hotel and i declared on my instagram that this is not a partnership with the hotel we paid for our stay, no discount, like nothing like that. But I still want to tell you, it's a super hotel. It's in the middle of the old town. It's got a beautiful swimming pool, beautiful sunset view, lemon restaurant. And honestly, it's the best food I've had on the island. It's so fab, the food here, and they do soy milk. One thing I don't like about, two things I don't like about Capri is they serve peanuts everywhere with everything. 
so if you're allergic to peanuts like me it's not the best um, and they don't have diet coke on the island so what else did we do we are going to capri palace tonight for dinner so i'm going to check that out and tell you what i think so a lot of you recommended that hotel this is what i'm wearing tonight my Alice McCall off the shoulder top that I bought myself over a year ago and I bought it in black with the leggings and I'm wearing my Lola Blahnik Maysal. This I think I showed you, sorry you can't see me, you've been looking at my face for the past 10 minutes anyway. This I bought myself in town two days ago. So I was walking past, there literally is every single shop you can think of here. And I saw this in the window and I just thought it was such a beautiful bottle. I just I just wanted to go and have a look at it. And I was thinking, I, I never buy perfume because of the way the bottle looks, but how cute is this? And I just thought, please let it be nice. Please let it be nice. Because I, I, I really want to buy it and it's absolutely beautiful. It's so nice. I bought myself the huge bottle. Um, it's not too sweet. Funnily enough, it's citrus tones like mandarin, apple, um, so Capri-like. So I think this is going to really remind me of Capri. I love having scents that remind me of something. And because this is lemon scents and mandarin scents, it's like the perfect scent to remind me of this holiday. South of France, um, I have the scent I, when I first went there with Paris, it's like number 17 or something like that and it reminds me of the South of France. So that's why I bought this, um, not a collaboration with Moschino or anything like that, I've literally just bought it for myself. So I'm going to pop that on for tonight and the only other thing that I've bought myself, oh it's beautiful honestly, it's so nice, Look at that bottle, it's just the cutest bottle. The only thing I thought myself, I say only thing. So everybody probably thinks that I'm gonna rush to Chanel Hermes. And I do, I wanna see what it looks like. I, I normally just have a look at the outside, very rarely go in and I pretty much never buy anything. The things that I really want to look at are, I love buying a scent or something to remind me, but I love buying things that remind me of the island, wherever I am, remind me of that hotel or that, that holiday when I go back. And I love to collect things that you know like anything that just reminds me of my worldwide travels and some something you can't get in England so as you know like lemons are the thing of Capri and I was determined to come and get a lemon vase or something I bought a beautiful lemon bowl but I'll show you all that when I get home I don't want to unwrap it and I bought the most sensational seagull uh, seagull the place is called seagull shell stuff but I'm going to show you all when I get home um, and the whole story about Valentino being in there, I'll tell you that properly. Oh, where did you get that wine from? Oh, I found it. Yes, I'm going to finish off the vlog. What do you think of this hotel? Beautiful. Very boutique. Yeah, it's been the perfect choice. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to update you because I haven't really been vlogging that much. So that's what we've been doing. We are going home tomorrow. We're just going to have one last dinner at the Capri Palace, aren't we? What is that? You've got long hair, like, going through your face. You mean like Elvis? Okay, so I'm not going to talk anymore because it's been like a 10-minute update. And that's the end of our Capri holiday. Mm -hmm.